Hey guys, um, I'm going to do a quick tag that I saw, um, I'm not like the biggest nail polish freak, um, but, um, I saw a girl that I watch on YouTube, her name is Chica Chu, it's C-H-I-C-A-C-H-E-W, and she did this tag, and she pretty much tagged everybody that was watching, so, um, I figured I would do it. It's just nail polish questions, and I don't have like the biggest nail polish fetish, I guess, but I do like nail polishes. <laughs> so I'm just going to lay out the ones that I want to use for this tag real quick here, so that I'm not fumbling everywhere. <clears throat> okay, so the first question is, what's your favorite nail polish company? Um... Looking at my products, well, my arm looks really fat. Okay, <laughs> looking at the products that I have, I would say by far Essie would probably be my favorite company. Um, but I'm definitely going to say I have never really tried an OPI nail polish unless it's like... Um, actually, no, I've never tried an OPI nail polish. Never. So I don't really know, maybe I would like OPI, but I've always just been drawn to Essie and maybe it's the packaging or the way that their bottles are just so cute and little and I don't know, I just like Essie and I like the brushes and everything like that. But yeah, so I would probably say Essie. Um, glitter or no glitter? Well, what's really funny, you can decide that one, <laughs> like I have lots of little glitter ones. I think glitter is fun. I think glitter is not all the time, definitely not all the time, but I do love glitter and I use glitter a lot. Like sometimes I'll just do like one color and then I'll put like glitter on the top. Sometimes I'll just do glitter and nothing else. Okay, so yes, glitter. Um, OPI China Glaze or Essie? Again, I'm going to go with Essie because I've never used China Glaze and I've never used OPI. Um, I do want to get some China Glaze nail polishes, but I have not used tiny glaze before. Or, okay. Um, when do you change your nail polish? Usually on Thursdays, which this Thursday I took the nail, polishes, the nail polish off, and then I ended up like reading. I was, I'm in really reading The Hunger Games right now, so I was like reading and I totally forgot, and so I'm actually going to paint my nails right after this video. <clears throat> um, what's your fa the next, number five, question five is, what's your favorite color on your nails? I'm going to have to say this color by Essie, Chinchilli. It's like my favorite color on my nails. Like, it just looks so pretty. This color and um, pinks. I like pink on my nail. And just recently, I've really been liking red on my nails. <clears throat> so those three colors. Um, dark or bright is, this, is uh, question number six. Um, I don't know because I have a mixture of both. Um, either, both. I like darks and brights. Like I have really bright colors and then I have like really, you know, black, pink. I have dark colors. So, I mean, both. Number seven is what are you wearing on your nose right at this moment? Which is nothing because like I said, I ended up reading and I forgot to paint my nails and... Um, so I'm going to paint them right after this uh, video, actually. Um, number eight is matte nails, in or out? I'm not sure, but I, I would say whatever you like. <laughs> like, I think matte nails are cool. Um, I don't know. I mean, I know in her video she said that she thought matte, matte colors were out. Not in this season, but I, I really don't know. So I would just say whatever you feel like wearing on your nails is fine. Um, number nine is French manicure. Um, sure. You know, I'm not a big fan of French manicure. Um, I don't think that it looks nice on little fingers. I feel like you have to have, like, long fingernails in order to have a nice French manicure. And for that, I would have to get acrylic, and I'm against acrylic. I don't like acrylic. I feel like it damages your nails, and my nails are already damaged as as is. So, um, French manicure, if you can do it, awesome, but not for me. 
Um, and then the last question is favorite, um, favorite winter color. This year, it happened to be, um, this brand is awesome, Revlon, um, the new Revlon Color Stay um, nail polishes. They're so good. But I wore this a lot this winter, which is called Sequin. It's just a really pretty color. Um, and I wore this a lot, which is Fall Mood. But I'm also going to take this into summer because when you put it on your nails, it looks like sun, like sunlight is coming from your nails. It's so pretty. So that and then my my other favorite big thing this winter was the black, just any black, which Sally Hansen makes a good one um, with shine of the times on top. Very, 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 very pretty, very pretty together. And then also just a classic red was really big this this winter and I actually got this as a gift. Um, it's LA Colors, which I would have probably never used, but it was the red that I got as a gift, so I just used it pretty much all winter. I used a lot of it, too, so, yep. Those are my big winter colors this winter that I used a lot. Um, but that's the last question. So, um, yeah, I tag everybody that's watching. Um, it was a short video. I'm just, I was just bored, so I figured I would film a tag. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed that, and, oh, this pink color that I lifted up is called Mod Square, which I actually just recently got, um, but I had tried a few different pinks before in the past, like lighter pinks, and I really like pink on my fingernails, but anyways, that's, I don't even know why I'm saying that. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and, um, yeah, I tag everybody that's watching, so please, uh, do video responses if you're watching, or just film it. It's fun. Do it. Okay, so um, I hope you have a good night. Bye.